episode two. Uh, here we are. Episode still... one was not a complete failure. Um, you said 60 views, I said 16 views or something. We got 46 okay. in two days, though. That's pretty good. That's not two bad. and a half days. I'll take it. It's not bad. It's not a flaw. We're not YouTube stars yet. No. But I think maybe, it's coming. I think maybe it's... after this one. Definitely. Okay, I'm not going to lie. This one might not be quite as entertaining as no. the last one. No. But it'll be good still. You know, it, we're. That's like dating. The first date maybe isn't the hottest thing ever, right? But the person grows on you like a bad smell, mm -hmm. like my septic inspection today. Right. Are we dating the people behind the camera? Is that what that means? Or we could try. Are we dating the content? I have no idea what that means. <laughs> I, think we're, I think we're we're doing a slow date on the people behind the camera. Hmm, okay. <laughs> we're, this is the courtship. Yes. We're recording them. Recording them. Nice. Perfect. <laughs> Now this time, when you actually look at that camera, it's playing. Yes, that is a new new thing. I put the camera on last week, but never pressed record. It's okay. We're learning, right? It's not about what happens over there. It's about what happens <laughs> in here. <laughs> During the courtship. Oh, we're losers. That's okay. Okay. Well, what are we talking about today? Uh, team life versus solo agent life. Right. And there's a big difference. We both started as solo. We did. Yeah. How did your start go? in real estate as a solo agent? Um, well, I thought it started really well because I really wanted to do everything all by myself. Mm. Um, I thought that was the best way to do everything. You know, I was going to take everything from start to finish all by myself. I could handle everything because if someone else does something, it probably gets screwed up. But if I do it, it'll all be right, right? right. Yeah. Until there's way too much of everything and suddenly the ball's being dropped on a bunch of stuff. Right. And the ball was never dropped on my client stuff, but all the back end stuff that's really important. Well, and sometimes like dropping the ball translates into like dropping the ball in your personal life, in your home life, right? Because we get so engulfed in all the stuff. Yes. But I mean, backing up to the beginning, it probably didn't feel so bad at the start because you had like half a client, right? Yes. <laughs> like, and then you had one client and then that's all you had to deal with. Yes. So it was like, this is awesome. I can do this forever. And when you're brand new, an offer takes you like four hours to write. Right. But then once you've written 20 offers, it's yeah. like a 20 minute thing. It's a little different, right? You start to put systems in place. Yes. But then it didn't take long for you to realize that solo agent means like how many different hats you have to wear every day. To be an accountant, I have to be my own marketer, I have to be my own manager, and I'm not a very good manager of myself because I'm not a very good employee. <laughs> <laughs> I hate working for people, especially myself. Especially myself. I'm um, the worst manager and the worst employee <laughs> colliding. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, so probably like 20 different hats, right? Yeah, oh, easily. Accounting, marketing. Um, systems, operations, you know, then, then you're doing the realtor stuff, showing homes, writing offers, making phone calls, the phone calls, my goodness, how many phone calls and texts so, and so emails. So many phone calls, <laughs> so many, so many things. And then, but like you said, it's all the stuff in your personal life that is what drops off. So yeah. I can do most of the work stuff, but then my husband's like, hi, Yeah. like, do I have a wife still? Cause right. I've just done everything in the house for the last like three weeks and mm -hmm. you're not even here. Like, Shut up, Nate. I'm trying to be a realtor. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. I'm trying to make some money. <laughs> and I think at the time too, you think to yourself, this isn't always going to be this way. It'll get easier. It'll get e No, it doesn't. It gets harder, right? Because yep. I think too, the real estate climate has gotten a little bit more competitive and a lot of agents are, you know, adopting things like, you know, just giving more to clients. So we have to keep on top of that and keep giving more to clients, right? Yep. Just to make sure that we're staying competitive. So that takes more time yep. and more time. And I, I was a solo agent when I started too. And I think back to it and I think about what my admin does for me now. Right. And I'm like, uh, how did I do, uh, how did I do any more of this? Right? Work ends up being admin. It is. Yeah. It's not the people. Like I want to do the people -y things, the house things. Right. Kissing babies and shaking hands. Right. Yes. The fun stuff. Yes. Yeah. Let me, let me go to the septic inspection. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the best. Let me have that smell in my nose all day. But seriously, I'd yeah. rather do that than sit at my desk all day doing paperwork. That's so true. And I love how my doorbell just rang. <laughs> we have to do an edit. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> we'll do a quick edit. That's perfect. Oh man. Oh man. That's too funny. All right. Where were we? Well, I was just going to say, like, um, I think as like a new agent, you don't really realize when you're getting into the business, how many things you have to do in a day. And I think maybe the public has the same perception, right? Like, yeah. why wouldn't they? Like, we didn't know when we first got into it, so how would they know? Yes. But man, I, I'm gonna put something on the screen right now that just shows like the 452,000 different things that we have to do. Uh -huh. And we have to do all of them. Yes, and as one human. Everyone has 24 hours in a day, so. 
So that brings me to the, the next part of the topic, which is a team, right? And there's this concept of a team. And like, so in your opinion, what's, what's the biggest benefit of a team? If we had, if you had to pick one, like we'll get into more of them, but what's like the one thing? The biggest benefit for me, I guess, if I had, if I, I could only pick one thing, I would honestly say the admin mm -hmm. and the marketing support. Like, right. That's a big chunk of my plate. Like on like an average week, I'd say that's easily 50% of my week. Right. Like that's massive. As far as time goes. Yeah, yes. I agree. And beyond the time it takes too, it's like the mental bandwidth that it draws from you mm -hmm. to have to be creative and to be in that mode. And yeah. then go back to client facing mode, right? Where yes. you just want to do the best job you can for them. But man, it's exhausting doing all those other things. It's too much. Right. So even just that is a benefit to the client, right? Yes. Because you're reserving yourself for them exclusively. Yeah. Pretty much all you have to do when you're on a team is be with deal the with clients, the clients, right? Help them get everything they need. Yeah. 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 Um, one thing that I really love about a team is the collaboration. Mm -hmm. like between the teammates, yep. like just our, our Tuesday meetings, right? Sitting down and brainstorming and just coming up with ideas. Yes. Like I might think something's the best idea ever. And then I get <laughs> three women across the table from me that are like, Jay, no, no. And then vice versa. Right. Yeah. So I, yeah. I love that part of it. It's very, it's very helpful to have um, different minds because our brains are all a little bit different as well. So what you think might be a great idea, we might come up with a few options that maybe make your great idea an even better idea and a more realistic idea. Yeah. And then we can figure out how to like, roll that out. Yep. Whatever it is. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think another really cool thing about a team too is it's usually made up of a bunch of different personalities, mm -hmm. right? Like I know that you and I are not the same. We are in some ways, but um, other teammates, they're very different. Yep. So, and clients are the same, right? Their personalities are completely different than than, than each other. So that person might not drive with me very well, but hey, Melissa, I think you guys would work really yeah. well together, right? So people have options when they come to work with our team. Yes, 100%, that. which is really nice. Even simple things um, as far as collaboration goes, like mm -hmm. if you have a, even an inspection or something that you can't make because you're double booked, mm -hmm. and that's the only time that inspection can be because it's the only time that works for your clients. Somebody else on the team can stand in your place. Yeah which is really helpful because you can't be two people at once, no matter how hard you try. Yeah. And the same goes for vacation yep. too, right? Like realtors are infamous for infamous for being on their phones on vacation, but to have a team that can take care of all your stuff while you're gone. Every time you book a vacation, everyone needs to sell their house or they need to buy houses immediately. It's like, I'm getting on a plane. Oh, the universe knows. Yeah. And it, that's a universal truth. Like for everyone watching, yep. ask any realtor. It happens every single time. Yeah. I can book a Friday off. Like it's just a Friday, just to do stuff around the house, and everybody calls me. Yep, everyone wants you on that day, not minutes. I'm not complaining. <laughs> no, please call me anyway. Yeah. If I'm, all the time. Yeah. yeah, I will still help you. My day off wasn't important anyway. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of like agents coming fresh out of school? Um, do you think I'm not saying there should be a requirement, but do you think it'd be super beneficial for an agent out of school to jump on a team? Yes. Right. So as an agent who jumped out into the streets all by myself gangster <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you don't know what you don't know and how are you supposed to know what you don't know mm -hmm. when you don't know so you have to learn things as they come up and sometimes you're like knee deep yep. and maybe not the best situation learning the hard way and I've learned the hard way, the hard way for a few things not like in a detrimental terrible way yeah. like it's never too late or anything but you're you're learning throughout it and that that's fantastic but you know what if you were on a team being fostered by close people, you, you may have seen somebody else go through something similar earlier, yep. ask questions, and it may have never happened to you. Yeah, it's like being proactive instead of reactive. Yes. I mean, I, I know that when I jumped into this business, I felt like I was not drowning, but I felt like I didn't have a clue which way to go next. And I, I, I found that I was fairly resourceful, so I figured it out, yep. but um, some people might not have that personality style, right? And yeah. they, they might literally just start making some pretty big mistakes yes. and then learning that way. And that can be costly going to repo jail and yeah well and trying to fix your mistakes after you've made your mistakes like that's a terrible <laughs> thing it is i was very fortunate to have a fantastic uh, manager like a great broker of record nice which was great she was on speed dial all the time but that's also not always a thing no it's not and again like you have to be that resourceful person that knows when to ask the question yes whereas if you come out of school and you get into a well-established team that has some really good training protocols and principles 
and um, systems in place, yes. you can learn all these things ahead of time, shadow an agent for a while, yeah. you know, and actually just almost like a mini apprenticeship sort of, right? Like just yeah. actually experience real estate before you take someone's $500,000, $600,000 in your hands and yes. be responsible for it because it's a lot. Well, like I've seen offers come in from newer agents and like on the back schedule where you're supposed to put all your conditions and all your warranties and all those things that protect the buyer, mm -hmm. I've seen it come in with literally like nothing on it. Yeah. Like not even like that the buyer agrees to pay the balance of the house or yeah. anything. Like so nobody along the lines has taught them anything or they haven't learned anything. I don't know which one it is. Yeah. But like that's real and that's I couldn't imagine being a client of that. No. It's scary. It is, yeah. But like you said, you don't know what you don't know, mm -hmm. right? And as a as a new agent that comes out of school, you learn a lot of important things like they teach you a lot about ethics and all that and that's great but that's not real estate specific like that's just how to be a good person that's not in my mind yeah so yeah, yeah I, I think there's a huge benefit just from that standpoint alone very much so yeah. being surrounded by the experience <clears throat> yeah yeah i think clients like having a team to deal with too right they feel like they're getting more value for their money yes. which they are you know you get a full-time realtor who's dedicated to you and the client service side of it and then you also get like two or three different people that are working behind the scenes yes. to make sure that nothing slips through the cracks. I found that when I was solo, um, and you know, often when people are selling a house, they interview multiple agents. Mm -hmm. Well, if I was going in to interview with a seller, but they were also interviewing teams, how do I stack up against a team? Like, yeah, sure, you can spin it and be really positive about it. Like, I do everything, my hands are in any everything. Like, nobody else is going to forget anything or, get confused because it's me doing everything. I know everything. Right. Like you can spin it like that. Sure. But the other end of that is, you know, I work on a team and the admin does the admin. This person does that. These people do this and these people are here. Mm -hmm. It's like, they're not, they're not a fair comparison. No. Like how do you as one human say, I can give you all the service of those eight people on that team or, that are giving you. Yeah, I totally agree. And, um, what I remember when I started building the team, and I had a hard time letting go of things like delegating. Mm -hmm. And someone said to me, I forget who it was, but they said, don't feel bad about delegating. There's someone out there that can probably do it better than you. Like the thing that you think you're so good at, yeah. there's probably someone out there who's better at it. And actually those are things that they enjoy doing. Like, like you hate doing paperwork. Yeah. Somebody loves doing it. Like don't take that away from them. That's what they said. Don't take that away. <laughs> yeah. Like, right. <laughs> <laughs> Our our right. admin staff went on vacation for a little while ago and Jason was in charge yeah. and uh, as her emails were coming in, he was like filtering them and taking care of anything that was major, except when she came back from vacation, her inbox was an absolute like tidal wave earthquake gong show because she organizes everything in folders like, and like literally she must be crazy. keeps nothing in her inbox. Yes. Like I my know. inbox is like 9 million bazillion emails dating yeah. back to 2007. That's where they belong. I know where they all are. Look, I search it. Yeah. It's like when you clean up your house and you organize it, then you can't find anything. Yeah. Yeah. That's why, you know, she's good at that. That's right. why she should take care of that for us. We all have our own zone of genius. That's what I like to call it, right? Like, yeah. I, like, I know what I'm good at. I know what I'm not good at. And I've gotten really good at just like not doing those things, which again, it just like frees up my time to do the things I do enjoy doing. Yes. Like podcast video recordings. Drinking coffee and or beer and or venting yeah. when needed. I know. I love it. This and is actually, a, it's a, it kind of is a big vent session, isn't it? I need to take things off my chest that no one else will listen to me. <laughs> here. Listen to me. <laughs> oh, it's great. So teams are great. Team, uh, honestly, the transformation <clears throat> has been amazing. Good. I, I should also say that there are a lot of solo agents out there who are doing an amazing job and crushing it. And yep. maybe they're just way better at multitasking than we are 100% um, and kudos to them because yeah I don't know how you do it um, there are some huge agents that do everything themselves yeah. and like amen amazing like that is incredible yeah. and they have like kids and families and they they seem to be having a great life and that's amazing they found a good balance mm -hmm. I think it's that it comes down to a lot of structure and discipline and I, I I'm not you I don't know I just I want to work a lot more hours than you need to. Like, yeah. in my mind, I don't know. I think but it comes down to the control thing. Like, sure, like, you it know, definitely does, yeah. yeah. Not wanting to let go. It feels so good to let go. It feels so good. Just let it go. <laughs> you remember what you said when I, when I had my first meeting with you in my office? What was, like, what was like the first sentence you said? Uh, I hate teams. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and then what happened like nine hours after that? Well, my next my next sentence um, was something about making fun of your Android phone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the meeting started out really well. The one that's recording us right now? Yes, yes, the one that actually has pretty good video quality, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> and then nine hours later, I joined the team. <laughs> <laughs> and I did not drug you. I didn't. There was no persuasion, no. no arm twisting. It was uh, purely a decision made on facts yeah. and uh, logical thinking. You have to be a team player though, right? Like Not it's, everybody is. If, you, if you're a lone wolf or if you feel like you work better alone and you don't really want to share with people and be open and, and you know have that sort of relationship yes. with your teammates, then maybe it's not for you. It's not for everybody. I don't yeah. think it could be. Um, but I think some people that are closed off to the idea should maybe just look at it, right? And look at the team model and see why it could benefit you. I think there's also a perception around teams. And I know, honestly, from having such a pers perception earlier on my own. Yeah. Um, like, y previously, I literally picture, like, <clears throat> somebody driving, like, a horse cart whipping the horses mm -hmm. and the horses being the agents on the team. Right. Right? Uh, and that's not how it is, even a little bit on our team, which is... It's very refreshing. Right. Honestly, probably the reason I joined and am staying and quite happy Good. with my choice. Good. Yeah, it's true. Like, not every team's the same. Like, no. that word is a, a very general term. Yeah. It's like saying I'm going to go buy a car. Yeah. Right? Well, what kind of car are you going to buy? Well, a lot of, well, that's the most important <laughs> part. But yeah, I mean, there, I, I totally there is no saying. I in team, yeah. and that needs to be remembered mm -hmm. by team leaders. I mean, it doesn't have to be. You can run your team however you want to. It's your team. You can sure. be solo. You can run your team whatever you want. But a team should be like a collaboration. I agree. A team it should, it should be a win-win. Yeah, it should be a, lots of campfires and singing. Yes. Yes. That's and, singing. And um, maybe a push-up contest or two. Yes. Melissa challenged me. I, I, I kind of brought it up. I bet that I can do more push-ups than you. Like, I actually feel pretty good about it. Maybe not right now because I have a lot of very sore muscles right now. Uh-huh. There's but always an excuse. It's going to happen. Yeah. It's going to happen. And it's going to be documented. And yeah. gold still doing it. And if I lose, I will be okay with that after I cry for five or six hours straight. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta start training for this. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Now that I know it's coming. Just like I was training for cycling for a while and I never need to use that. I think within the first week of joining the team, uh, Jason and I quickly made a bet that if I had done a certain amount of deals in a certain amount of time, uh, Jason's going to come to one month of my spin classes, and I, I made sure he knew that that was going to be very puke-worthy for him, <laughs> and he wasn't going to enjoy it. And I would point out to everybody in the class that he's here because he lost a bet. Yeah. Um, he then canceled his Good Life membership. Man, that was, it was a freak accident. <laughs> I don't know what happened. The server went down or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very unfortunate, but I have some pull and I could probably get you in. <laughs> <laughs> break my leg probably by accident. <laughs> uh, okay, um, so I guess at the end of the day, we have our opinion on teams. Yeah. We love our team. We probably are ways. a biased opinion. Yeah, we totally are. But that's okay. Drink the Kool Aid. Yes. <laughs> it's really good. There's protein in it. Free refills. <laughs> <laughs> There's protein in it. Yeah, what's in our mugs today? I don't know. I'll never tell. Uh, I'll tell you, I'm drinking a protein coffee oh. at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. I'm drinking a normal coffee at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Good. It'll be fine. I'll sleep, need sleep. I will still pass out into a coma at 8.30. I don't need to sleep. I have a team. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to go to sleep. I have people who are going to help me through tomorrow. <laughs> Sweet. All right. Well, I, I think we're done today. Yeah, that was awesome. a great one. Thanks. Awesome. I Cheers got four teams. hours till bedtime. Thanks. <laughs> you actually do. Mm-hmm.